The Whiskey Brothers podcast is intended for an adult listening audience. If you find yourself easily offended, I guarantee this will do it. They don't want no problem. Nah. From Houston, Texas. The Whiskey Brothers podcast starts now. Welcome, everybody, to the Whiskey Brothers Podcast. Hi, episode 929. Jesus. Yes, I know. These are uh, these are big episodes today. Uh, we are live on Twitch. We are uh, live in the studio with all the Whiskey Brothers. Uh, Trey Tutson to my left. Sam Damaris diagonally from me. Across from me, the right Reverend Robert L. Mungle. Yeah. Uh, the ones and twos, Adam Taylor, Jerry Wayne Longmire. Uh, we got Will Loden hanging out in the back. We'll have guests in and out of the studio all day today. Why, you ask? Because the right Reverend Robert L. Mungle is celebrating his last moments oh. on the podcast. So we're bringing in people so I don't have to do anything. I like it. It's a uh, yeah. it's perfect. Bring in guests. We have, we have, Even we have better. two episodes, 929 and 930. We're going to be with you for a very long time this mm -hmm. evening. Yeah. And uh, yeah. I, don't, I don't even know where what all will transpire. You look jolly and happy to be here on your <laughs> I am thrilled. <laughs> On your Giddy as fuck. You put oh in your two God. week notice yeah. and you're mad you gotta Jesus. show up for the whole rest of it. Yeah, That's I mean the, I got uh Do you think we were gonna let you go? Hey, you have to come back in for your last two weeks. I've got senioritis. Just, I'll yeah. tell you right now. Just mail me my checks. <laughs> yeah. Senior citizenitis. <laughs> Senior citizenitis. <laughs> <laughs> What's up to everybody in the chat? You guys throw yeah. your shot glasses up. We are pouring uh we're we're going through a lot of the old bottles now. Holy uh, shit. If you look at if you look at the uh, the liquor cabinet, it is uh, there. Were, I, I realized there were a bunch of things that weren't quite done. Almost, we get down to yeah. the last little nitty gritty of it. And we go, oh, we can't finish that. So I here they are. I we're just gonna like that bottle. And thanks to our good friend Natalia from Jack Daniels who brought that. Yeah. You have that monster. Quite the going away package, yeah. Robert. And I got the Jack Daniels chocolate, Ooh. which is perfect for the diabetes. Yeah. Oh, By the way, that's 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 what everybody used to call me is Jack Daniel's chocolate. Jack Daniel's chocolate. Really? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I thought it was diabetes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's what I sure thought it was. Chocolate diabetes. Hey there, sweet dreads. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you should make. You should get a fucking barbecue sauce. Call it sweet dreads. Sweet dreads. <laughs> sweet dreads. Yeah. Sweet dreads. That's what happens if I get diabetes. I have to amputate my hair. <laughs> <laughs> Lose these locks. Yeah, that is a. It actually tastes like a lollipop. <laughs> fat <laughs> bar of chocolate and I'm whiskey try for it. Rob. I'm yeah, get try into it, it buddy. Uh, we're gonna. So Trey, Trey, you you got your glass. You drinking with me? I too? got my glass. You looked yes. a little fallen over earlier, so I didn't know if a shot was gonna make it down shit, your gullet. Yeah, you know. Hey, I'm gonna do it, but uh, I mean, I'm beat. I'm. Tired you came in shit. here looking tired? like. Uh, you ever What's you up? ever watch like when. Tom and, well, like when Tom and Jerry or the the Wiley Coyote, one of them gets blown up by dynamite. They just they just oh look, and they, and they oh yeah 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 just, and their eyes are red and shit. Like what yeah. the fuck? Yeah, you just you had disheveled is the word you're looking Dish for. Yeah, right? yeah. <laughs> disheveled, disheveled. <laughs> I think <laughs> I don't think those are. You know, words. that's that, what I, that show. That's that what show. I think. They should invent a gun that works like the one that that Porky Pig used on Daffy Duck all the time. He would shoot him in the face mm -hmm. and just give him. Oh, you just know, bad hair. Yeah, yeah. bad hair. <laughs> he looked like a burnt sunflower. And he yeah. burnt, yeah. And it was fucking. That's so funny. And yeah. it was little, little <laughs> off put for a moment, and he just, and he had to turn <laughs> his, <laughs> turn his they... bill back around. <laughs> That's what they should give away for road rage, because people uh. shoot at cars. I, you know thinking, what? Though? Without thinking. But if you had a gun that would just do that, no, that you, would be hysterical you and think good. You, that's incorrect because you think you're mad at someone cutting you off. Imagine if they cut you off and then shot you with a gun that made your nose go to the back yeah. of your head. <laughs> that would make a joke. Are you like, not okay. more mad now? Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah, okay, you, yeah, I shouldn't have cut you off. my mouth back around and yell at you now. Yeah, <laughs> I shouldn't have cut you off. That was, Yeah, but... I got the black face now. <laughs> yeah, that that yeah. Oh, I'm I'm interested in that. Though. You can't make that gun in 2021. Okay. Well, I mean, you, you can. I, oh, okay. I used the gun once on Halloween in like '87. <laughs> 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 Say goodbye to your political career. Yeah, it's over. With. <laughs> it's over. Fucking done. Dude, is that is full of actual Jack Daniels? It is a Jack Daniels syrup. Oh well. And they could put that on a fucking pancake. Goddamn. There you go. I raise it uh, to your to wherever Rob is headed Woo. next that none of us know about. Uh, we just <laughs> <laughs> we, don't, we don't even know. Rod's open mic. Darwin's <laughs> open mic. <laughs> no. This is like his retirement for comedy. Retire. He's gonna show up here next. I'll next drink Monday to that. We are drinking gonna from. Gonna put a fucking uh, toupee on and be the Bourbon Brothers or some yeah. shit. <laughs> 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 We're drinking from the Chugwater Chili Shot Glass Collection. Nate, uh, our buddy Nate Williams sent uh sent some ooh. things while he was off on the road. Did it get a little kickback to you on the back? Jerry side? was right. That's fucking good as shit. Jerry Wayne said that was good, and that is fucking fantastic. You look sold. Well, mm. yeah. on your way, Rob. okay, he's sending them on his uh -oh. way. We have, uh, 
we have we have so you cook. Oh, you Holy goddamn shit. You're a chef. So all you really have to do is add beans. Yeah. Ah. Whole thing. <laughs> oh my god. Well, this will make a shot this, water chili. This will be box. great for my trash can. This <laughs> is wonderful. <laughs> Fantastic. We're not going to let yeah. you keep that. We're going to make chili here because we don't have a chili maker anymore. Oh, yeah. Well, you still don't. <laughs> because in, you 930, still don't with this. in 930 huh? episodes, we Rob Mungle has still never brought us. You brought us chili once. I he did. did. He brought y'all chili? Chili one time. Yeah. But wait, weren't you the one who brought the fucking Kool Aid pickles? Yes, I was. Yeah, yeah. What a, so wait, hang on. What yeah, all I brought of you, the shrimp thing. What I all of you brought? That. I ate that. Yeah, over um, the course of 11 years. Very bougie. Like four things. I know. That's it. Like the. <laughs> yeah. The, the pickles? pickles? And the on, pickles? My, on my last show, can I get my earphones on, finally? Because <laughs> <laughs> I can't hear shit. Look at him. Well, I've I'm, only got one. He's so half glass his last show. I'm yeah. half. <laughs> the headphone jack is now on your side of the room. I'll is have to really? fix it on a break. You can't even get down to it. Okay. It's I, well, I, I, You don't want to know. Uh, you put it where he can't bend. Yeah. <laughs> Here's the truth. Here's the truth. Um, I forgot you had a week left. I'm moving to that seat. <laughs> Are and you I'm really? Already yeah, yeah, the yeah, spider. yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's taking that side. This side yeah. feels great. This is awesome. Shit, this is fucking, man. My I'm already God. measuring the place. <laughs> but everybody. <laughs> I'm joking. I had to move it because I've cut three pairs of pants with my knee over here. Uh, and okay. it's literally, it's, it sits right here. That's why it's angled up in your corner. Well, then you Gosh, can have all the chug water chili you want. It's, uh, I will, you just leave it what in is, instead. But Rob, um, most importantly, what is this? It is a, uh, you don't have to eat the actual chili. Oh as my much God. As oh, you got a fucking, uh, girdle. A, a, way, a girdle. <laughs> apron. <laughs> Oh, that's <laughs> I mean, he needs a girdle, <laughs> but I, I, you a got an apron. That's water chili apron, yeah. courtesy of Nate, and it's, it is. Did they go up there and get this? He was up in Chugwater, and he 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 put a package together and he sent it well, down along you, with the uh, the glasses wow. and the uh, the apron, so that you have a uh, a, a nice a new dress. That's sweet. By man. the way, we we just I think. This nice podcast just you. tripled their income for the past like five years. That's <laughs> <laughs> they've never sold one of those fucking aprons in their oh, goddamn yeah. life. <laughs> <laughs> that bitch has been sitting there since uh, 1962. <laughs> What's up, everybody in the chat? Like you. <laughs> uh, where's Where is Hersey? Brian Hersey will be here. Uh, I think he's going to be swinging by the studio okay. in person. Brian uh, Hersey, drink uh, yeah. Brian Hersey. Uh, oh yeah, you guys were drinking. Um, thanks for the subs. Uh, my cake day and uh, somebody else subbed in there. We appreciate you guys. Wow. How many retirements is this? Man. Ask uh, yeah. Old Humble. <laughs> yeah. The uh, it's How many a lot. Is it? The uh, yeah. The I, somebody else brings up Sin Lechuga, oh. which is your. You remember our Mexican duo? Remember Sin Lechuga and Todos Oros. Todos Oros and Sin Lechuga. Oh yeah. Were you Sin Lechuga or Todos Oros? I don't remember I which one of us was. You're Sin Lechuga. That yeah. means no lettuce. No lettuce, and you're, you're only only rice because no, rice beans. Cause no oh, beans. Yeah. Yeah, he hates beans. Uh, I hate beans. All beans, be they refried, be they. What did, you, did you see? Did yeah, you see what we just made up? Oh. Two characters. No. <laughs> All right. Oh, Ooh, so. that was tough. Which one was that? Uh, uh you were Woodford Reserve, actually. Oh, strong. But this is uh, <coughs> oh yeah, forty-five point two. So this is not regular Woodford. This is a uh, distiller select. What is the if I you don't mind me asking, Mr. Connoisseur here? Yes. Uh, what is your what is the perfect proof of whiskey? Would you say? You uh, know, hang on, because yeah, Wait, on the last show we're gonna actually talk about whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> it's the end of an era. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna talk about it forever because you're we gonna let me. We've been yeah. trying since the first episode. We just <laughs> never get there. <laughs> 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 Fuck your god. <laughs> we're trying. Uh, no, it's a uh, it, that's it's a tricky question because of the fact that like some people go from look eighty proof is normal right okay. some people go to that 90 and they fuck up and it's just like you taste it and it's got the taste to it but it tastes like it feels like gasoline in your throat okay. but then there's some motherfuckers who who they can go 101 and it's still smooth yeah okay yeah All there's the a the corner so what's uh, wrong with something like 40 40 it's yes. bitch shit bitch shit so it's just okay so whatever the proof is if you cut that in half that's the percentage of alcohol in the bottle yeah. Right? Okay. So 90 proof means that the bottle is 45% straight fucking alcohol. If you're drinking 40 proof, motherfucker, Midori is, is, 70, is 70. That's 35% alcohol. Okay. So you're drinking less than bitch ass Midori Apple Teenies if you're drinking some 40 are proof. See, this is the. I don't understand. Right. Why people make fun of you for drinking Apple Teenies? Not even why they make fun of you. I understand that part. Right. But my whole thing is just that. You do understand why we make fun of you for drinking. 
No, please tell me. No, no, I, no, 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 no. Do you I, know what? I, I don't know why. I know why we do. I'm just, it's, uh, there are all probably different reasons. But the, okay. I just, I was, you just, you have a reason where Happy you're like, pride? I do understand. <laughs> no, <laughs> where you're just like, but like when you're sipping one, you're like, I do understand what these motherfuckers, like wh- you don't have a paranoid feeling like, why is everybody looking at me? You're like, they're, they're this the apple team. This is fucking delicious is what I'm thinking. It is delicious. This is delicious. And what is the issue? What What is the issue? Is it because the it's, proof is low? It's supposed to get panties off. That's, that's that's what Midori means in some languages. Okay. Panties off. <laughs> <laughs> it's Hawaii. It's very, uh, that's so whatever funny. Moana talks. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that, that, that shit. It means well, panties off. And it's just that when you're when you a dude, this is, this is you go, you okay. go rot gut. And you, you're supposed to, you're supposed to sound like me eventually. <laughs> but see, here's the problem with it. That's okay. a, that's a, that is this weird we're stuck in the we have to we have to keep drinking this painful shit because we're men, right? When we started, okay. when we started, I didn't start that way. You might have started. Your dad probably got. You was just like pouring Jack in your mouth. No, 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 no. Remember, remember <laughs> but, uh, comedy Texas? Like I was had Jack Simulac. Simba Jack. 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 <laughs> when you first booked me at Comedy Texas, I was Bud Light and Jose Cuervo because I was broke. And um, I was Guinness and yeah, Guinness yeah, and, and then, tequila and then too. I was. I, I was fucking vodka cranberries for a long time, and that got me in trouble. And then I was <laughs> gin- got him out of that UTI. He got he was stabbed. Then I was gin and tonics for a while, and that sent me to jail. Uh, <laughs> uh, so to- my thing is, at I, no I, point you like I should stop drinking. You're like I should just find, just a find another drink. or yes. just drink straight. Well, okay, <laughs> but that's the thing is that is that you know I was talking I was saying the man shit. That's the old stereotype thing. You know damn well the reason why I drink this is that yeah, you hate yourself. It's the only thing that stops me from just slamming because it burns like a bitch. It and slows uh, you down. It's, it's like, like a speed good. bump. Because he drinks Jameson. If I drank Jameson, I would die. Yeah. I it's it's so smooth. I will just. Yeah. I can literally stick a straw in a bottle of Jameson and walk around. <laughs> it's, it's, that's, it's see, so that's cool. what I'm saying. That's a darker pain that you ain't getting to. <laughs> if you sticking straws in whole bottles, motherfucker, get a fucking apple teeny, my nigga, and and, 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 so and relax. No, say that again. <laughs> say that again. Get a fucking apple teeny, my nigga, yeah. and relax. I believe it was Malcolm X that said that. How originally. do you get that on a t-shirt? <laughs> <laughs> You just gotta start out the N word. It'll be fine. <laughs> yeah, no, not for me. My, uh, 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 my, yeah. my thing is this. I, what I'm saying is like apple teenies are to get panties okay. off, not put panties on. All right. So. <laughs> when I listen, don't listen to this. When I started, my first drink ever. When I, not first drink ever, but when I was like going to bars and shit, I was I drank. Uh, they're basically raspberry kamikazes, like a purple hooter. Yeah. It's okay. Like, it's like Chambord. A little bit of vodka, I guess, and sweet and sour. That's all it is. It's basically grown up Kool Aid. And I would put, now I wouldn't, where where we made different, I don't know what kind of glass you like to swirl your shit around in. I'm just like, can you just put it in a regular, you know, that that you can can cup like this with the long stem? Uh, you put it there. You like the long stem. I like all that shit. Yeah, put exactly. a flower on my shit. Put the beach on my drink. Yeah, that's <laughs> I don't mind that. Sh- I don't mind the little pool side on my drink on make my glass. Me, make me a banana that looks like I, a dolphin. Well, I, yeah. My whole argument is this: <laughs> the consumption, right? Uh-huh. Like, like, like it's all about the consumption. Mm-hmm. Okay. If somebody has enough daiquiris. <laughs> that is the same as drinking this handle. Yes. Why the fuck don't we say, oh, that guy can fucking drink? But it's like based off of what it is, you you criticize because, him for that. Because the, the amount, amount of alcohol is the amount of the alcohol, amount of right? sugar in those things that you're talking about. He would die of diabetes before you can't, he gets drunk. Yeah, you yeah. can't it possibly be, you drink. Can't, a, you can't drink that's like, that that's equivalent like eating of daiquiri. 50 lollipops. Yeah. You know, and say, okay. look at me. Oh, I'm fucked okay. up. Okay. Think about it this way, all right? If I drink half a bottle of this shit, I've only drank that much. If you drink half a bottle of rum by daiquiris, you have had three gallons of fucking daiquiris. Yeah. See what I mean? Okay. And why we don't go. I'm just saying, but I'm I'm just talking about the consumption. Why do we go, oh, that guy can fucking drink? Because Trey had 30 gallons. If you showed me a guy who drank 30 gallons of daiquiris, I would happily go, that motherfucker can drink. We get to 300 followers. But instead. I will drink. Instead, what I end up getting is the what? bachelorette who's had two uh, and a half of those motherfuckers. That's the only thing I see yeah, on that. I'm sorry. So why are we bringing tough, women into this? Some That's tough <laughs> motherfucker. I got all these daiquiris. Look yes! At, I can have nothing but disdain for that. There's no disdain oh, for that. Oh, that guy can put him away. He can drink. He's had six That's, apple teenies. I'm like that. Bro, look, that those, motherfucker those girls who can, Those girls who can drink 42 shots of rumple mints in a night and then still go cut hair the next day, <laughs> I respect it. Come on, man. 
Look, I, I, I get what you're saying, but it's just a man. I, I don't know. I, that's 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 that dude with the fucking the emo swoosh haircut. And no, just a, you're you're. And like I'm, somebody, I'm on, I'm on trace. I'm, I'm saying trace side. this. Why does it have to hurt? In order for it to get cra- why I gotta burn my motherfucking esophagus up? It does. Maybe it I is. want something sweet and smooth to go down there and still be manly enough. So what's your? Well, it depends on your end game, right? Yeah. Sam's okay. drinking because he's trying to block out certain memories that he's lived through. <laughs> why are you drinking? Because you want to have a good time. I need exactly. A drink to finish this segment. Oh <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> why, why are you drinking, Rob? The other thing, Trey, is now remember what I was telling you though mm-hmm. is that. Uh, you're fucking yourself when you do this. Uh, you look at 45% alcohol, 40% alcohol. Mm-hmm. You drink out there drinking Ampletinis, you're getting 30% alcohol. You're paying the same shit I'm drinking. So to, to, to really put it down okay. the way All I put right. it if down, you got to chew it up. About so here's the, the numbers if you and put, shit. If you want to throw some numbers in, if you put it down the way he's putting it down, within 45 minutes, we're going to have 30% of Sam. Yeah. That's the math. <laughs> That's the math. <laughs> Yeah, he <laughs> mentioned uh, the first drink you had, right? Uh-huh. Okay. I know exactly the first drink I ever had right. in a bar. In a bar. Yeah. London, England, 1986. Wait, you had your first drink in, in London, London, England? In London, Who England. Who the fuck are you? I know, right? James Bond. <laughs> Wait. No. 900 goddamn episodes. I, I, I didn't even know he went. I was going to say, if you had asked me if Rob had ever been to the UK, I would have I, I wouldn't have thought either. Yeah, I've been there. Uh, senior trip. Just glazes <laughs> past it. Senior trip. Senior trip. You're from Pasadena. I know. We mm-hmm. went to London, and we were the last one mm-hmm. in my class to, go, in Paris, Texas? to go on a fucking foreign trip. The, okay. The, the, yeah, we fucked everything up for everybody. <laughs> uh, anyway, we're in a hotel, right. right? And they have a bar. Legal drinking age is 16 or 18 right there. In uh, London. UK? Okay. In, in London. And so I'm going to go to a bar and get a fucking drink. Mm-hmm. You know? Do it. So, yeah, it was six, uh, I'm 18. It was 18. So they say, it's a Christian school, right? Gotcha. Don't go to the bar. Nobody goes to the fucking bar. Do not go to the bar. Mm-hmm. So sure. Night two, I'm in the bar. Yeah. I go I'm amazed it took you that long. I know. Well, it was jet lag. <laughs> okay. So go down to the bar at 1030. By the, end of, by the end of the night, the whole class was there. Anyway, I go in. I've never been in a bar before. 18 years old. I don't know. The only drink I know is from fucking Casablanca and shit like that. I don't know what to get. <laughs> so I go in. <laughs> and the guy's like, all right, Mike, what do you have then? And I went, oh, I got to not have a scotch. <laughs> so he goes, oh. are you serious? Like, yeah, scotch. <laughs> oh, are you serious? <laughs> oh, yeah, I'll have a scotch. So he puts this fucking scotch. I don't even know what brand it is, but it tasted like fucking horse shit. Doers. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I had to pay Your like. Your first drink was in an Irish, in an English pub yeah. drinking a scotch? In a hotel. Hotel bar. Not a, yeah. And so I have the drink. And I was like, oh, man, that is just fucking horrible. And he goes, look, mate, are, are you a drinker? I went, oh, yeah, I'm playing. Um, yeah, you're what crying, little eighteen-year-old yeah. American and tears. Goes, and he gives me a ginger beer, and I had like four. Of oh, that's so fucking delicious. Yeah. And so ginger beer. I'm sorry. Scotch no, and ginger no. beer. Oh yeah. my god! And then and 1986 then, in a bar in London. What was? You, did you ever drink scotch again? I never touched it since. <laughs> really? <laughs> I haven't touched that shit since. Oh, 1998. I was working at Papa Do's, and because we all got off, and we we you know, I was with a bunch of other people, all in work uniform. 19 years old, I walk into the bar and I just sit down and they were just like, all right, cool, what are you drinking? Because everybody else there always would have. So we're all still in work uniform. And I, I just, I, I panicked and I was like, uh, and I, this chick ordered and I was like, I'll have the same thing. And for the next couple of weeks, I just kept going into Buffalo Wild Wings in Nice <laughs> Village, <laughs> ordering oh. Amaretto Sours. Oh my God. <laughs> Amaretto <laughs> ordering Sours. Amaretto Sours, going home, going, why does my fucking stomach hurt? And, uh, and then one, day, one night I went in there, and the bartender looked at me and was like, look, bro, I haven't carded you because you're with them. No one will ever guess. He was like, but you got to stop drinking this. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what? I was like, yeah. He's like, dude, you sit down here drinking Amaretto Sours. Like, everyone's looking at you like, who let this young motherfucker in the bar? They know. And I was like, well, what should I drink? He was like, you like that? Like, yeah. He goes, whiskey sour. That's and right. so he just butched it up a little bit. You know what I mean? <laughs> and, uh, and honestly... And this is where I learned the shit about proofing, all right? Because I was in their powerhouse at Amaretto Sours, three whiskey sours in. I'm like, hey, man, what the fuck? Somebody put in my drink? They go, alcohol. Alcohol. I'm, to, <laughs> alcohol. I'm 19. I'm like, dude, who the fuck was sticking shit in my drink? And they're like, well, no, that's, it's whiskey and not Amaretto. I'm like, yeah, I get the taste different, but why am I so fucked up? And they were just like, 
yeah, it's more alcohol, idiot. I'm like, mm -hmm. no, it's the same shit that he poured. What he poured, like, it's still yeah. poured the same. You having that argument? Which way is more, uh, a ton of feathers or a ton of steel? steel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah but it's the same amount. Yeah. yeah. I, I'm fresh out of high school. You know what I mean? And, I just, <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, I'm drinking like a man now. And I'm like, oh, why am I so fucked up? Speaking yeah. of uh, first and drinks, I, go ahead. I, I got suspended on that trip when I got back. Suspended. What did from you? High so what did what did y'all do? You ruined it for all I of Pasadena. It for everyone. Yeah, for uh, for Faith Christian Academy. We were the first one to go overseas, and I ruined it for the next four classes because they uh, they wanted to go. Uh, they said, "Hey, you can go anywhere you want for lunch. Go through London, get in a cab, or we learn the subway." So I said, "I want to go to the Hard Rock Cafe, 1986. There was only four in the world. Oh yeah, back then, and one of them was London, and I had to go, and I took three people with me because I figured out where it was, and we were late getting back because we got on the wrong train, and the fucking cabbies who know everywhere in london but they didn't know where the fuck we live <laughs> anyway that was bullshit and so we got back late and we, we missed know every street yeah and we <laughs> got late going to the royal uh shakespearean play and i wanted to go to that but i missed it and so they you gotta stand your room anyway i got a hard rock cafe t-shirt and i got back and the principal suspends me for two weeks because you for, showed up with evidence yeah well for going nobody else had it i was on with one and so none of the people who went with me got suspended. And the next you brought back the devil's The next weekend I ran into the fucking principal's son wearing my fucking Hard Rock Cafe <laughs> London t shirt like a fucking cunt. This explains so much your, of they his They took my shirt and that fucking piece of shit. Wait, is that where this all is that where that anger began? Probably. Is it that's right there with that shirt? Right now. That's if we just got you if we got no, you a no, Hard no, Rock was, London shirt. Was, no, if I got you a Hard Rock London shirt, would you be Sunshines and Kittens? Yeah, then I'll fucking you, start a church. That's mm. <laughs> oh perfect. Uh let's ah. do this. We have guests on this episode. Uh people are popping in. Paul Odo just popped into the chat. Uh, I want to say what's up to a lot of people in the chat, you guys, uh, with your emojis and your hellos. We appreciate <laughs> you. Uh, we have guests via Zoom uh, throughout the night. It is a uh, pleasure to bring in uh, one of a dear, our dear friends, a, uh, a regular on the podcast. Previously, Houston's comedy <laughs> entertainment reporter. And now, and now fucking queen in oh, person. Shit. Please welcome to the, to the Whiskey Brothers podcast, Tommy Drake. Tommy! Hey guys. Uh, Tommy my comedy entertainment report tonight is an editorial. Uh-oh. And it starts out with a little bit of entertainment trivia. Ooh. What do Thin Lizzy, Guar, and the Whiskey Brothers now have in common? <laughs> they all still exist, except with none of the original members. <laughs> uh... <laughs> I have some good information that you guys apparently don't have. I know where Mungle's going. Uh, Rob Mungle isn't retiring. He's starting a new podcast with Bill Miller, Ben Mowbray, John Wessling, Owen Dunn, <laughs> And Kiki Maroon called the Scotch Sibley. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> I also hear that Rob is leaving the Whiskey Brothers so he can devote more time and energy into being skeptical. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, Tommy? I question that. Rob Mungle is so skeptical that he doubts whether or not he is leaving the Whiskey Brothers. <laughs> <laughs> it's a conspiracy. So do we. Now listen, I know that none of you follow God on Twitter, but I do, and God has tweeted about Rob Mungle. Uh, God said, uh, Rob, I'm going to miss hearing you. By the way, I don't believe in you either. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now I believe that. That's true. Face with a long gray beard after that. Yeah. And then it says, hashtag, fuck your pod. <laughs> Sam Damaris has a huge responsibility now that he is the whitest. <laughs> Get used to talking to the cops, Sam. <laughs> Get used to talking to the cops. This is exciting. New York Times headline tomorrow morning. Uh -oh. Whiskey Brothers lose one quarter of their members and half of their privilege. <laughs> <laughs> I oh, predict that sure. hundreds of years from now, archaeologists will debate on whether or not the Mungle and Tutson periods had any overlap. <laughs> <laughs> Rob is a Houston right. comedy legend, no question about that, but that doesn't mean that he is irreplaceable. Houston is thick with comedy legends, with just a little bit of rebranding. You could plug one of those legends in there in Rob's place. Uh -huh. As an example, Mohammed Amr, Mo Amr could replace Rob Mungle. And instead of the Whiskey Brothers, you would call yourselves the Whiskey Brotherhood. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I gotta be promise. Mo- will be Allah be fucked. <laughs> I gotta be honest. Mo Ammer, more problems. That is a uh, <laughs> no! be, uh, less jokes about fisting and more jokes about fasting. <laughs> Robin, Houston damn. comedy legend Ali Sadiq could take Rob Mungle's oh, place, and you could change yeah. the name of the show from the Whiskey Brothers to Comedy Central presents the Whiskey Brothers. <laughs> 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 oh, you ass! And comedy legend Andy Huggins could take yeah. Rob Mungle's place, and you could change the name of the show from the Whiskey Brothers to Brother I Miss Whiskey. <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> but then we would have to start the show at seven thirty a.m. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> fellas, what are we? Houston doing? comedy legend Caroline Picard could take Rob Mungle's uh, place, and you could change the name of the show from the Whiskey Brothers to. Crown Cajun Cousins. <laughs> all with all K's. Ah. Ah. Houston comedy legend Juan Villarreal could take Rob Mungle's place and you could change the name of the show from the Whiskey Brothers to the Whiskey Grandfathers. <laughs> oh. Oh, or man. the Tequila Tios. I had two punchlines for Juan. I didn't know which one to use. It's, I think the 119 grandchildren uh, puts that one first. Yes. <laughs> Houston comedy legend Thea Vidal could take oh, Rob's place, yeah. and you could change the name of the show from the Whiskey Brothers to Thea. <laughs> <laughs> I have to say, honestly, we all lost money in the office pool around here in the era of cancel culture. Mungle is going out on his own terms. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. I that, that told did not pay. myself. I told myself I wouldn't get emotional tonight, mm-hmm. and I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Rob Mungle is the only whiskey brother that has my phone number, so this is probably my last appearance on this show, too. <laughs> <laughs> oh Gentlemen, thanks for letting me be part of this. Oh, Thank you, Tommy. Thank you, Rob. Cheers, Thank you, Tommy. We raise a glass. Houston Comedy Entertainment reporter, whiskey brother, oh. alumnus, and our dear friend, oh, Tommy God. Drake, ladies Thank and you, gentlemen. Tommy. Tom, is that a margarita? God, no, that's whiskey on the rocks. Sorry about that. With a good round cube. uh, This is whatever this is. What's this? Oh, Oh, oh. that shit that Sam puts straws in. (laughs) (laughs) And drinks it like a fucking four-year-old with a Happy Meal. Tom, that is one of the greatest uh, things I've ever witnessed in my life. Thank you so much for being here. We love you to death, brother. Hey, man, I wrote wrote those jokes for Conan, but they didn't invite me to that. That's really funny. <laughs> I have never met Tommy Drake. He, he, he had to drop two hair jokes. That was yeah. the only difference. <laughs> Tommy, we'll talk to you soon, and it is not your last time on the podcast. I will get your number. Excellent. <laughs> I love yeah. you the most. Uh, we continue on. There, are, uh, We're going to have other guests. Um, right now, I, I think we should just keep them rolling, right? It's if we're going to bring. Follow that. What do you have to pee? I want, I want, no, I want to go grab something. Okay, you go grab oh, something. We're going to bring shit. on. So, of all the. We've had many, many of our guests have been previous guests. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay. In fact, all of them have been previous guests. Not all of them have been Whiskey Brothers, uh, but I think they might have been. I don't know. Yeah. I, the history eludes me. Uh, Holy shit. I know. You never know which version of them you're going to get on screen. Some the, the facial hair changes by the day. It looks yeah. uh, Welcome to the show, Mike McCray. Hey, Mike. I'll be darned. Mike, you look great. Mike, you look. You look 12 years younger. Sorry, Jerry. <laughs> I've, I've had some work done. <laughs> yeah. Barber work. Yeah. <laughs> a razor. <Yeah>. And uh, <laughs> All right. Did you get a job? I, uh, well, how are you, gentlemen? Uh, I, uh, this is a sad occasion. <laughs> I'm not I, dead. I, Fuck I, you. I cannot <laughs> believe after all these years, the Whiskey Brothers has finally decided to put Rob down. <laughs> <laughs> And I don't mean a roast, I mean euthanasia. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's no youth in that age. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. It's old and yet. Old Wait, and was, I not, was I not supposed to say anything? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. You keep talking, Rob. We need to go out back real quick. Yeah. Is, <laughs> you buried was, the lead before we could bury the Rob. <laughs> I, I was told I, I was told I was going to a farm with some other dogs. Yeah, it's weird. The last podcast was a live one from behind a barn. Yeah. <laughs> Is that Mike? What? Pardon? Uh, I thought you were speaking. Oh no 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 no! This is why we have rehearsal. Oh, this is hilarious. <laughs> Mike said, "Pardon you, extremely white. That was great. That was great. Pardon, <laughs> pardon me, pardon me." <laughs> Trey gets a little thrown off when you use vernacular like "pardon." It gets off. Oh yes, yeah, uh, he, 
<laughs> but meanwhile, his cousins are all waiting on one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mike, you oh. predate you predate me and the Whiskey Brothers, and I know this because I booked the Whiskey Brothers for a Christmas show uh, or a New Year's Eve show at my club in 2003. At least three or four years before I joined oh. the Whiskey Brothers. Um, it was my first one. It was your first uh, show my out, out of all of it. My, what, do, what do I not know about the Whiskey Brothers <laughs> back in those days? Was there a fun, Rob? <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness, yeah. You know, well, well, I was in the tuxedo version of the Whiskey Brothers, the yeah. Rat Pack thing yeah. that we were doing for yeah. a while. And there was, a, there was an ab abortive first attempt at that uh, at the Laugh Stop where it was it was it was the it was the lineup that you know you uh, rob bischoff ben me chuck savage and then sam mm -hmm. uh and i think before sam joined that we tried one that included wesling yeah. hersey yeah and riley barber oh wow yeah. odo yeah. says he did a tuxedo show did he do yeah he did the one I, in I think he filled in but this one was the first attempt at that and it was one of the biggest disasters that <laughs> I've ever Barber. been a part of on Yeah, stage. that's what it was. Riley Barber. It was Riley yeah. Barber. Is that what went sideways? Oh, it was Riley Barber, without a doubt. <laughs> 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 when I came in, I was like, man, this is so cool. Thanks for asking me to be here. And they're like, your name's not Riley Barber, kid. You're in. You're yeah. fine. Yeah, that's <laughs> drink of water. Who's Riley Barber? <laughs> I didn't, no, dude, I, didn't, I had never even met him. But like my first show with these guys, they were just like, look. Just know when to shut the fuck up. What happened? Yeah. What's the? Tell me yeah, what. Because Mike, this too. is why I ask. Uh, having having been part of and leading the bit of the Whiskey Brothers for the better part of a long eleven years, I'm trying to figure out what could possibly happen that would make the collective group go. This is too far. <laughs> well, I'll, tell, I'll tell you what happened. Uh, so the idea was we, you know, we go up, do our act, and and zing each other a little bit, like the Rat Pack did. Everybody on stage uh, at one time was this the yeah, yep. and it wasn't planned out. And there were certain people within that group who couldn't fucking handle it. Riley Barber. <laughs> Riley Barber. <laughs> oh shit. And then all all these people started getting mad at each other, and fucking Riley's like. I'm fucking Riley Barber. Who are these fucking kids singing me or whatever? <laughs> Eventually, he yeah. walked off the stage and the off. crowd cheered. <laughs> oh, wow. He walked off in protest. The crowd cheered. The show was already destroyed. Yeah. I mean, there was no coming back from it at this point. But oh. then afterward, like, he and Ben got in a physical fight where, like, Ben was up on his shoulders like a spider monkey. <laughs> yeah. You remember that, Rob? I do remember that, yeah. yeah it didn't dude, help that we were... Hersey wasn't exactly helping anything He's on never, stage or off. Never been, to say. Yeah, he yeah. was a he was a ruthless no. drunk at the time. Yeah, the whole point Wesley, of it. Wesley got pissed at someone. That, probably yeah. the waiter for slowness. And yeah. it was Slade already. <laughs> he, was, he was already pissed off at Slade. Yeah. I hadn't even met him. <laughs> he just said, fuck that guy. Well, the whole premise is you would do your act on stage, like if we're all on stage together, and one guy goes to the front, does his act, and then we kind of zing. So you why know, did we never do this? Because I lost a fortune on tuxedos. <laughs> yeah. I swear, every one of those shows cost me $600. It cost me $600 to buy tuxes for all these fucking houses, except for Sam, who had his own suit. Oh, a white fuzzy suit. I, I could yeah. never oh, that's it right. Again. Sam had his white suit. Oh, yeah, yeah, I had the white pimp suit. And, uh, God, the, the shows were fun. Uh, and, and here's the thing. The, the reiterated version, it, it was fun, too, but it was like, we had a bartender on stage. Craig was in the back. Yeah. We got we got bottles from the club. So it was Craig not doing comedy. Y'all just made him pour drinks. Yeah, he was just a bartender. No, 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 no. no. He he, well, he went out. No, he, he hosted. Out first. He, he did time. He yeah. went out first, and then it was like, "Hi, hey. I don't deserve to be here." Well, why would y'all no. make him bartend? This no, was hilarious. It was because it was part of the show. It okay. was it was we were supposed to be up there looking like we're just dudes hanging out drinking at a bar, but a really nice bar. Okay. We were all they were, they were in tuxes. I was in the white fuzzy suit. Craig just had on a nice shirt with a tie with the sleeves rolled up like he and would like a, like, like a speakeasy. So you put yeah, it's a stage yeah. play. I got you. So when we started the show, we all came out, we did the toast like we do now, and then we were Except like, Except y'all probably and wrote it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then I uh, we were like, ladies and gentlemen, give it up for our bartender, uh, Craig Bischoff, and he would go on and do his set, and he would say thank you, and we are like, now get back there and make us some fucking drinks. And, yeah. oh, we treated him like shit. Okay. That's, uh, that's during the show, like, we, we treated him like shit. Stage play. Chuck was in the back of the piano. Um, Mike, when you did the Indiana, Indiana Jones joke, he would start playing it, and then when he was like, you know, dun, every, dun, dun, I told you, man, every year, and then all of us together were just, da, 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 da. Yeah, we had, uh, we had some 
jokes yeah. in there that like. And Riley was horrible at it. Just I, fucking yeah. horrible. <laughs> well, he only did that one. Just the one, yeah. And yeah, just that, and they're like, so all is right, Riley, we're is Riley the only one who's been an outlaw and a whiskey brother? Is uh, that like the? Is that the only sorta? Yeah, I, I, I is guess. that like the feather he gets to put in his cap? Maybe, yeah. You know, I lost money on his because he's 6'5", and I had to get a special tux for him because he's so fucking big. A special tux. Why are you just getting a regular tux big. and some kiss And moves? he pissed in it, too. <laughs> he was so uh, fucked up, he pissed his pants, and I had to what? play. Ex- yeah, I had to tell you about that. I had to tell you no. About that. Yeah, he fucking pissed his pants, and he goes, he, he brings the pants back. Oh, I'm sorry, I kind of I kind of wet myself. So I, <laughs> I was like. Oh, that's an extra fifty bucks. All right, fine. He's <laughs> losing money. Mike, yeah. while, while while I have you the on other, here, oh, go ahead. Go ahead, go ahead. The, the other fun one I remember, we did one at the Dallas Improv, and we drove back in two cars, and we got pulled over. Yeah, yeah. And fucking the one we were in. Who was I, driving? I think Damaris was. Dr- oh, that explains the pulling uh, no, over. But no, well, no, you I were in it. I got pulled over. We were, it was. I think it was. Well, Craig was definitely in it. And but then, I think I think Mobley was driving that Ford Explorer. But you guys are rolling, right. you're rolling back I down 45 we from Addison. It's a shitty drive. Yeah, and then so we get pulled over, and they're like, "You all smell like booze," uh-huh. and we're like, "Yeah, but it's, I swear it's from the night before. We're alcoholics. <laughs> and we aren't drinking. <laughs> we aren't drinking right now. I swear to God, what you're smelling is." I had Georgia. drinks since my job today. <laughs> this is. And 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 Craig was freaking the fuck out because he had weed on him. It and he was- weed in the fucking car, and the guy said, "I need to search the car." I did. I had no idea, but it was just in the fucking webbing, the web pocket in the back seat. It but was in the most hidden. obvious fucking place in a container labeled know weed. This. Yeah. And fucking the cops search the car, so Craig is, uh, unbeknownst to me, is fucking like, uh, there's another white word there for you, Trey. Uh, unbeknownst to me, <laughs> was fucking. Pardon is unbeknownst. <laughs> yeah, pardon is unbeknownst, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, and fucking the cop, for some reason, just didn't check this obvious place for something to be, which was the pocket in the bed. No, the well, he's busy was... dismantling the steering wheel and pulling out the radio, looking for all the places you should hide it, and he's overlooking yeah. the door panel where you wouldn't set it. What happened was he asked us if we had any booze in the car or whatever, and we had, like, these two little travel, like, six-ounce beers that were in the back. So he went in the back, and he was right. going through our luggage first. And then he was like, I thought you said there was no booze in the car. And I was like, officer, those things are, like, six ounces. Uh, we took a flight, and they're just – but they're in the bag. They're all the way in the back. And he's like, that's all I'm looking for, right? And we're like, yes, yeah, sir. And he goes, all right, man, I'm going to let you all go with a warning. And then uh, he let us go, and Craig goes – uh. Man, why was that cop being such a dick? And Ben was like, why do you have weed in my fucking car? He was like, he was being a fucking prince, What, a, what a pussy. How do you take a road trip without weed? <laughs> anyway, listen. the uh, <laughs> You did it for 19 years. <laughs> <laughs> I know, but if you had been in the car with me, I wouldn't have thrown a hissy fit like a bitch. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> I, didn't, I never had weed either, but we, they would have thought we did. I'm simply saying you don't get it. Anyway. Yeah. Whatever. Um, the I had a question for Mike a second ago. Um, God damn it, and I lost my entire train um, of thought. Unbeknownst to you, you forgot. No, I'm <laughs> no, 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 no. So Mike, memory, Mike. We did, we did, we did a Whiskey Brothers show, and uh, I'll bring this up, and we're we're gonna move move on. But the okay. we did a Whiskey Brothers show with you in uh, at Cap City in, at, for Punch, right? It was me and you and Sam and John. No, I wasn't there. This is the banana. you weren't there. John Wesley banana and store. Rob were. And you took us to a little dive bar where we proceeded to steal an eight foot tall Jamaican banana. Did we not? I remember that. Yeah. Were you hammered? Mike, I didn't make this up. We took the fucking banana to your house. Look at me. Uh, Oh, my God. How drunk were you? Oh, God. Well, wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Jamaican banana. Mike. We did a whiskey. I remember I was briefly booking a a punch replacement show at Cap City. That's what it was. Yes. Yeah. And then Huggins and a few a few other you guys me? came in. It wasn't a Whiskey Brothers show. I just booked some Houston. Yeah. I was well, like, was, I'm going to do Houston night. It was me, Rob, Johnny, and Huggins. So I count that as a Whiskey Brothers show. <laughs> okay, right, right, right. And, okay. But do you not remember that you you the I fact remember that the, the, you remember the, the fact Jamaica that your face banana. looks questionable at an eight foot tall Jamaican banana? Like this isn't ringing a bell at all. Concerned. You didn't bring that to where I live. That's for sure. Mike, I took it to your house, <laughs> that, and, and we did it in your car. I remember this. Uh, this a fucking story in my book. I'm not making this up. <laughs> you, I was out of town. I, 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 I was in Seattle. I came home and y'all all, you had pictures of this Look guy at his in. face. He doesn't have any idea. Yeah. Mike, nah, we, shit. your house. You have a. You have a. Am I, Somewhere am I, in your home. Am I, no, we, we took it back the next day because we didn't. We realized we were gonna have to strap it to the hood of a car and drive it down 45. <laughs> 
or down 290 to get back to Houston. So we took it back to the bar the next morning yeah. because their mascot. You had a room. We were playing. I was playing. You had a video game. In, uh, you had a media room at some. Mike, I'm not. You're, no, I was married. I don't have a media room. There's no video games. You are remembering this absolutely incorrectly. This did not happen. <laughs> there was it a- did happen. I don't know that he took it to your place, but I know this. You were there because that night we were all getting hammered. Where did we go? Uh, hold on. We. we Mike turned to me and he goes, this is after you were married and you just had your kid, I think. And you turn yeah. to me and you go, wow, you know, it's it's really great to be drinking on a Tuesday for no fucking reason again. We used to do this all the time. Mike, there was a whole caper. There was your car. We had to get your keys to Johnny right and he had to go unlock the car. And I took a bunch of hipsters in to get them shots of shitty whiskey and make them throw up so we could steal no. the banana. I know where you took it. I know where. Where? You didn't take it to his place. <laughs> God damn it. Oh, fuck. Who is that guy? Okay, but I stole a banana. <laughs> you did steal it. Okay. Yes. Okay, I'm not arguing with you stealing a banana. I'm just saying I... that banana did not come to my house. Yeah. Okay, it went back to a house and you were there. Uh, Christ. It wasn't. It was somebody else. Damn. It wasn't his house. Totally fair. Yeah, I don't want no okay. cool running motherfuckers in your house. Totally fair. The, the Jamaican so... banana did not come to my house. So let's uh let's let's let's, let's okay let's, long pointless story sorry I brought it up no There's Mike was having that nine eleven who helped me the nine eleven oh, I was Chris Redder yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was, I was, I was dude, bro you had you had me Brian Williams and yeah, I was Brian on that Williams. helicopter yeah. I Mike. was on the helicopter we were shot at Mike. I mean it sounds <laughs> vaguely familiar <laughs> now like you guys stealing a banana I'm not sure how involved I was with the it goddamn it banana was there Mike and you were there too <laughs> and don't act like we weren't there together motherfucker I still have the goddamn Scars. <laughs> Mike, oh, dun, dun, were you dun, 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 dun. were you in the car with us when we did the show in New Orleans? Oh shit! <laughs> I don't know. I don't think I went to New Orleans. So with you guys. Mike's now in. We, did the, New Orleans Orleans with we did the one in New Orleans. Rob was dating this chick, and it's all these comics in the car. Rob decides to bring his girl, and. On the way there, we're all listening. You know, we're ACDC in it. We're Led Zeppelin in it, whatever. And she's like, guys, I really want to hear some Kate Bush. And this no. pussy no. whip motherfucker, this pussy whip motherfucker Sit let down. her play Kate Bush and PJ Harvey all the way in New Orleans in a car full of comics. And we're like, what the fuck? Oh, then, no. Then we were going to stop at Cajun Charlie's, that that that, that buffet mm-hmm. in Lafayette. Uh, no, pre right, no no no, 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 no. Lake Charles. Lake, Lake Charles. Charles. Lake Charles. Cajun Charlie's is just the amazing. only Cajun buffet on the planet. Yes. And it is great. And oh, Rob, has, go been, to that. Rob has been talking about it and hyping it up or whatever. Problem is, Cajun Charlie's is across the street from a cemetery. And she says, I can't eat here because there's dead people right there. And Rob yeah. has been telling, I'm 23. He's been telling me about this since I was 21. And I couldn't fucking eat there because this bitch wouldn't eat across the street from a fucking cemetery. Yeah. And then after she made me leave the Cajun buffet, she got right back in the car and put on fucking Kate Bush. <laughs> and I was like, if you don't dump this woman, I'm going to. In a ditch. <laughs> Where, which girlfriend was this? Chris <laughs> Damn! Ah. <laughs> I tried not to say names, but fuck it. Chris comments. Odo yeah. says the broad who could smell colors. Oh, oh yeah, wow. Mike. Uh, oh we, my God, dude. Mike, we're about we we uh we got a couple other guests we got to get to. Any uh any parting thoughts for Rob or any good stories you want to share before you get out the door? Ah, fucking shit. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I've never met Mike McRae. Well, I've I've known Rob for <laughs> twenty. <laughs> For 22, almost 22 years Shit. now. Yeah. And uh, I remember when when I met him, it was 22 years ago, he looks exactly like he does now. <laughs> <laughs> no, he had no beard. And, yeah. well, that's true, except for the beard. Uh-huh. And I remember one time he said to me, he's like, when I was 24 or something, he goes, get all the pussy you can now, because in three years, you're going to look just like me. <laughs> That's why Mike shaved that fucking beard. <laughs> yeah, I was, I, I've been trying to avoid that curse mm-hmm. ever since. Has and now, it, what happened is he now looks like Riley Barber. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, he's just man. peeing your tux. Yeah. Mike, I'm six foot five now. Yeah. <laughs> 
Mike McCray, Mike on Twitter, uh, Whiskey Brother alumnus. You'll always be part of this family. Uh, you'll be back even when Rob isn't, I guess. Yeah. Uh, we love seeing you. We'll probably see you at the Christmas show. Maybe we'll come see you for uh, something in Austin. Cheers. But uh, cheers. We love it. It's good to be cheers, here. Cheers, gentlemen. Uh, I mean, always a pleasure, guys. Thanks Have for having me. Cheers, Mike. Take uh, care, Rob. Hey, Mike. We have, uh, we have another little thing we got to get to before this episode ends. Well, um, let, me, uh, let, me, let me do something here. Um, so, Natalia, our jack rep, uh, she she. We're gonna move to that bottle. She gifted you um, oh, yeah. a, a handle of Jack Ooh. Daniels. I think we cracked that next episode. The Ooh. problem is um, Andrea Barris, uh, very 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 lovely lady, and all the way in Canada, Ooh. she PayPal'd me money today, and with it I bought you a handle <laughs> oh, of shit. Jack Daniels. <laughs> Holy <laughs> fuck! Woo! That's not. That's, it was empty. That's, That's not it? episode shit. That is going home with Rob. Robert. Shit. Yeah. Oh wow! And we'll, because we'll have a drink tonight. Because it's going home with Rob, I could not give it to him without. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there we go. I I had to, and uh, you know I, I yeah. I, I had a little bit of. Le- it's, it's the only legal coke I can give you on the uh. podcast. <laughs> <laughs> and I had a little bit of money left over, and you know before I got back, uh, I was just smoking every now and again. And I never bought them. I always got them from this guy. So I, I, I bought you one, buddy. No. Oh, thanks, man. Oh, wow. Uh, Placement pack of smokes. All of your fucking vices. Right there. Right there. I one. don't see any hooker pussy. Well, I mean, the they don't sell that at Valero. If they yeah. did, I just no. would have put it on your card. That, <laughs> and, uh, this is not a coincidence, but please welcome to the show our next guest. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh, shit. Hey. What a coincidence. Oh, dude, it is uh, with, uh, an actual Whiskey Brother uh, part of the show. Actually, before you stepped on, or maybe in the overlap, you guys overlap. Shot right there, baby. Yeah. Yeah. Shot glass. Overlap. Overlap. Burlesque <laughs> comedy dancer friend uh, of the show and Whiskey Brother alumnus herself, Kiki motherfucking Maroon. Ooh, kooky. I missed y'all, except Trey. I left because of him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I know. <laughs> he looks very unconcerned. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh my God! Okay, one, I miss y'all so so much. Uh-huh. Um, I just I had to come on. This has been weighing on me for a while now, mm-hmm. and I felt like I had to come on and apologize to Rob since he's dying now. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we know we didn't do a debrief. Yeah. It's just he's just leaving. Yeah. No, I'm probably dying. Okay, then, I'm then. pretty. I'm pretty sure he's dying very soon. <laughs> like it's a safe bet. <laughs> Okay. Uh, <laughs> I'll take the over, but carry on. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I just I feel bad because y'all remember when when I was on the podcast, I would uh, very often bring up how Rob was uh, disgusting and gross and terrible and perverted yeah. because he had a thing for feet. Yes. Yeah. And we would all bully him and make fun of him. And I brought it up every chance I could because it was really disgusting. I was somewhat defensive of his hobby, even yeah. though I don't understand it. But you guys were pretty no, yeah. bullish. Kiki would continually kink shame. Absolutely. As she would. Every yeah, day. So. Mm-hmm. It was uncomfortable. Many instances. Every chance I got, I just right. I called him everything <laughs> because he's disgusting. But <laughs> after I left the podcast. Uh-huh. <laughs> I dated someone who was into my feet. Oh shit! Uh, and uh, it was uh, and it was me. <laughs> no! Oh, Shut your mouth! Shut your mouth now! <laughs> <laughs> so wait, so Kiki, how do you understand better? Please. Elaborate. Yes, I felt like I had to because I publicly shamed him for years and years and years. I and felt years. that I needed to publicly apologize to oh. him and say, I am wow. so sorry. <laughs> wow. You are correct. It's kind of fucking awesome. Uh, <laughs> and what she, what she'd like to say, I'm sorry by mm. sending you a Dropbox folder full of his <laughs> feet. <laughs> no, 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 still, no, he's still gross. <laughs> but like, just, I'm sorry. I appreciate that. Thank you. Are there any other? Have, is that the only kink that Rob is into that you might have learned something about <laughs> over the last so t- couple of years since you've been gone? Or, or I, I didn't think any girl let him see anything else for him to be into anything else. That, that, oh no, there was a whole. Yeah, shin, that was it. There was that a was whole it. shin era. We, he moved up. He never got to the knees. Uh, oh, <laughs> I did not know about that. Is that like an Amish thing? No, no, Pretty no. no. You use the knees to pray to Jesus, and he doesn't believe in them. Oh, that's, ah. that's weird. There's ah. bar math. Well, thank you for that, <laughs> Kiki. I'm glad you finally came to your senses and uh, it's so realized funny. that the shame that we endure in this culture today, <laughs> the kind of thing we have to stand in the shadows. Yeah. Everybody else has a month of pride, but we are still 
continually rejected. But thankfully, Kiki. Hip, hip, my friend. Yeah, has That's seen, true. Has seen the, so the light. Funny. And maybe we'll get foot fetish appreciation day one time. I, I, I do have a question, though, because I thought it was kind of awesome. I started uh-huh. researching this, and I didn't know how, how deep it got. Uh-huh. And so I wanted to ask Rob. Okay. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm liking this more and more. So funny. Somebody fucked up feet now. <laughs> no, I didn't say that. It was just in his mouth a lot. But <laughs> I wanted to I wanted to make him happy. So I started researching this and I found out that if you progress in this fetish, uh they they want to be the shoe. Okay. Whoa. What? Wait. So you, you stick your that. foot in a guy's butthole? Wait. I did not. I did not because when I realized how this line was going to keep going, I cut it off. Right. So how many? So how many toes did you get to? I, I didn't do it at all. Not I researched even, it. Kiki Maroon, I researched it. Kiki Maroon, look me in the face and tell me not one toe, one time. Nothing in any butts. Six but. foot, seven foot, eight <laughs> foot, <laughs> butt. <laughs> but. But. It's apparently yes, but- very common if you're into that. And so I just feel like we should ask I- Rob if that's how, how long tell- he's been into it, if he's gotten that far. Let me tell you something, Kiki. The man you were dating is a disgusting pig. And, that's <laughs> and I don't know what fucking weird shit y'all were into, but that's the kind of fucking thing that gives us a bad name. <laughs> is that kind of horse shit, foot up asses, bullshit. That's where it gets weird. Yeah. Now you Yes. Yeah, don't bring your fucking weirdness into my life, <laughs> you fucking crazy you bitch. You just stick your oh my foot God. in my mouth like a normal person. Like yeah. a normal human being. Like a vanilla fe- foot fetishist. Yeah. So There's a such thing as a vanilla stupid. foot fetishist. <laughs> Trying to become a fucking Air Max 95 <laughs> in the middle of fucking Wednesday. <laughs> Hi, can I become a Timberland tonight? <laughs> Put your foot up my ass. Your pants have Velcro? <laughs> now, walk. now, I'm just saying. So once the foot is up the ass, uh-huh. and, and this motherfucker is See, now I'm with you right there. It, right there. Once the foot is up, the, uh, you can just. Do put you a, gotta bring in a third? Like, are you, you can a, just put a comma there and let that question answer itself. You I, got like is, another guy and walk around with like giant snowshoes. Yes, like a fucking <laughs> like, like motherfucker has got become. giant snowshoes. Got you got to feed two guys. Like you're in a French fashion show. Yeah, like, motherfucker walk around. You got cock crocs on. It's fucking <laughs> stupid. What the fuck? What is wrong with who are you dating? I did. He. I did not do this. This was purely research. Oh, I after see. Yeah, you I would see. suck the foot a couple of times. No, no, He's no, gross! I didn't suck a foot. I let my foot get sucked. Oh, we know. Yeah, we here. Yeah, we're here. Yeah. Yeah. With yeah. shit all over it because you shoved it up his motherfucker's ass. Oh no, that's no. the same logic why Trey is not gay. He did not suck dicks. <laughs> <laughs> Had my dick sucked and I killed some dicks. <laughs> Uh, you've been gone Call too back. long. Listen, this <laughs> Kiki just to catch you up. Two niggas sucked my dick, died, and rest in peace. But you haven't worked at an Applebee's for that long. Yeah, <laughs> it's a whole different. Oh yeah, we're all caught up. Yeah, but I'm oh, the weirdo. Man. But I'm the weirdo. Hey, they didn't suck my feet before they did it. But, but hang on. Now here's the, here's the question. But here's... it would have felt so good, Trey. It would have felt uh, so good. No, but... they're deaf. Did. The no, question <laughs> is, are you two? Rob and Kiki, uh-huh. are you on the same side of the foot fetish or no? Kiki, you were getting your foot sucked. Rob, which yeah. part of it oh, were you right. on? Do you were mean? you doing the foot sucking or were you doing the foot? Yes, it's all about foot worship, but you know, but, you, you, vanillas oh, wouldn't yeah. un- you, you vanillas wouldn't understand that. Right, right, right. But you're doing the work and it's not being done to yes. you or yes. vice versa. Yes. So, okay, so. But that's, yeah, that's the whole thing. It's the worship. And it was pretty awesome because mm-hmm. I liked being worshipped. And you like no, you like yeah. the worships. You like being yeah, worshipped. So, okay, I got it. I got it. The, 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 when it comes to the foot and the mouth, is it uh, beans or no beans? <laughs> <laughs> no beans. I, I prefer to keep the feet in my but, mouth on the but, podcast only. <laughs> but you do put pineapple on it. <laughs> <laughs> pineapple doesn't go with bunion. Yeah. <laughs> No, but it makes the feet taste better when you come, I think, is the math. <laughs> I don't know how. Yeah, fuck that. I'm only eating feet if I need a place to stay. <laughs> like, if I'm outside, bitch, let me in. I, I kiss your feet. I do whatever. It's cold out here. Shit. Oh, oh. I got was fruit by the foot. Yeah, yeah. That's, <laughs> <not> <laughs> that, that's the closest I ever been. Get your fucking toes away from my goddamn mouth, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> I, I do. I will swat you away. It's, it's like yeah, a photo. Yeah. I'm so, like, like, I can't walk around 
the house with those shoes on without my feet tickling. Like, <laughs> if a girl tried to lick my foot, she's getting donkey kicked to Saturn. Kiki? <laughs> it's just a Sam, bam. Sam, Sam, uh, this is why I made fun of Rob, because it's I, fucking gross and stupid, uh, right? But what you just said is why it's awesome. Feet are ticklish because they're covered in nerves. It feels so fucking good. And when you jerk them off, you get jerked off while you're sucking their toes. It's called food of the loom. That's it. <laughs> oh, wow. Ow. No, that Man. is uh, all right, Kiki. We got to get out of here. We've been, we've done this. We've, we're way over time on this whole episode. Uh, we we love seeing you on here. It's so good to see good you to pop see you back, back up. Man. What is uh everything is back open and waking up in Kiki Maroon's world? I know you're doing some online stuff. What is at Kiki mm -hmm. Maroon? Everything on social, and you have a Twitch channel as well. We should rate Ew. each other. Yes, please, please, please. Yeah. I'm going to start playing afterwards. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Um, she's doing some gaming stuff, and she's always Bye, talking. Bye, Kiki. See you around. Bye, she's Kiki. Happy Bye. Kiki. We love you the most. Uh, <laughs> we got to put this episode in the can. 929 is done. We limp into 930 coming up next. Uh, we have whiskey and things yeah, to we drink. Do. We have more uh, more chocolate Fuck. to get to if Rob wants to share. No, no. Uh, I'm, I'm actually very interested. Uh, so big much. shouts out to everybody for popping on. Mike McRae, Tommy Drake, and uh, Kiki Maroon, our guest. Uh, Adam Taylor and Jerry Wayne Longmire on the ones through fours. Slade Ham, Trey Well, Johnson, load the apprentice. Sam Damaris, indeed. Uh, and some good stuff coming on our network from him and Nick Palermo. Uh, Rob Mungle in the four seat uh, for this episode. We're coming right back with 930. Thank you guys for watching. Don't move on the Twitch. We'll see you soon. They don't want no problem. Nah. Music provided by Scarface. Thank you for listening to yet another excellent episode of the Whiskey Brothers Podcast, the world's funniest podcast ever. The Whiskey Brothers Podcast was made in America by Americans, mostly in and around the Houston area. All content copyright the Whiskey Brothers. This concludes our broadcast day. Goodbye.